Good evening, everyone, at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. Liz is off tonight. New York Mayor Adams has been pushing to get office workers back to their desks and get the city's economy going. But a new survey showing only 40% are back full time in their offices. And the number one reason the majority worry about returning? It's not COVID. It's fears about the rise in crime in New York City. I went to reporter NJ Burke live in Midtown with our lead and very important story. NJ. Yeah, that's right, Bill. We are leading off from Grand Central Terminal tonight for a good reason. This is what passes for rush hour two years into the pandemic. No, it's not 2019 anymore. But what this survey reveals is that many people who work here in the city feel like it's 1979 and they're worried. Nearly two out of three office workers surveyed say they are unsure or pessimistic about the city's future. Amid a rising tide of violent crime, homelessness, and disorder in the streets, David Flores runs a Park Avenue medical practice. It's a gamble lately. You don't know whether you're going to go home safe or not. Of nearly 10,000 office workers surveyed, just 38% said they were optimistic about the city's future. 84% said conditions in the city have worsened over the past two years. And up to 48% of employees who live in the city say they may move out. 10% said they've already left. This is not New York of the past two decades. This is New York of the 70s and 80s. And people are worried about that. Catherine Wilde commissioned the study for the partnership for New York City. 40% of riders have yet to return to the transit system, along with 60% of the city's office workers. They are watching closely, monitoring the situation for what happens in the next year. It really matters. Our city's recovery depends on it. Practically everyone agreed that not enough is being done to address homelessness and mental illness. Many expressed serious concerns about so-called quality of life crimes and violent assaults on the streets and in the subways. MTA Chairman Jano Lieber. The mayor has made this a personal priority. He is personally on the calls. I'm thrilled. That's what we've been asking for, and I think it's going to make a difference. This week, the NYPD announced that officers would begin targeted enforcement of relatively minor offenses. Mayor Adams has insisted that public safety is his top priority, and he turned up the volume today. Let's be clear on this. What's not going to happen in the city, you're not going to walk into Drain Reed, take whatever you want, and walk out. You're not going to openly inject yourself with drugs. You're not going to just do whatever you want in the city. Well, the one bright spot in all of this, and there is one, is that 72% of those surveyed said they are committed to the city and want to be part of its recovery.